Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of my shiny hunting videos for today I have shiny Electabuzz going on over here. It took me 200 random encounters I know that's not a lot for a lot of uh, shiny hunters uh, But it has to do with the fact that I do have the shiny charm It took me a while to complete the national decks. It is all 100% legitimate So there is no excuse for anybody to tell me that I am not allowed to use it or whatsoever So I found a shiny Electabuzz now normally Electabuzz is yellow, but this one it looks kind of reddish in a way um, so I'm going to try to catch it. Now the moves that he knows, by the way, at level 30 are Thunder Punch, Light Screen, Electro Ball and Thunder Wave, meaning that it has three Electro type attacks, which I'm completely immune to. And uh, the only thing that he can possibly do to defend himself is Light Screen. So I am in no danger of losing the Shiny to recoil damage of any sort. So I'm actually going to proceed and go for a a false swipe, and by the way, I do have the animation turned off on this video. I, 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 I almost always have the animation turned off simply because the game just runs a lot faster that way. So, I'm just gonna go to bag Pokeballs. I still have no idea what kind of Pokeball I'm supposed to be using again with, uh, well, to catch this guy actually. I don't know, I'm kind of eating my words right now. Um, Alright, so I've got a lot of balls here. Um, I need to make a decision. It's kind of reddish. Now, Shiny Electivire is a monster. It's kind of, uh, you know, dark yellow with like blue tips on it, on his tail and red and blue eyes. So it's actually very cool. So I'm thinking of um, maybe a heel ball. Nah, I need something blue. Do I have a great ball? I'm not sure. I have a Pokeball, a Premier Ball. Repeat ball, quick ball, timer ball. You know what? I'm actually going to going to try to catch him in a quick ball, which I should have thrown in the first place instead of trying to lower its HP. But it doesn't really matter because hey, it's a shiny Electabuzz. It's a freaking amazing shiny. And got it. Amazing, shiny Electabuzz, 100% legitimate. No hacks whatsoever. Shiny charm doing putting up some work. And my luck is just beyond unbelievable. I am not going to give it a nickname because I don't like to nickname my shinies. I, I, I don't kind of like that. So real quick, I'm going to save the game before anything else happens. I do have room in my team so I can basically show the shiny Electabuzz immediately. Uh, for the nature guesses, guys, like usual, if you want to just stop right now watching the video, just pause the video or something and just drop in the comment section down there Tell me, what nature do you think this Electivire or Electabuzz has? And if you're right, then I am going to give your comment a thumb up, really. If not, I'm still going to do it. So <laughs> um, It has static as ability, so it doesn't have its hidden ability, which is uh, Vital Spirit, which allows the Pokemon to never fall asleep, uh, being immune to sleep moves and stuff like that, such as Sport and Sleep Powder. Uh, but it's okay because after Electivire uh, or Electabuzz evolves into Electivire, it gets Motor Drive, meaning that it's immune to Electro type attacks. And whenever it's hit by one of those moves, its speed raises by one stage, which is absolutely amazing. Now, if you have put down your comment down in the comment section below already, and uh, it's it's about time we guys we, we I start showing the nature because my personal guess is going to be bashful because I have. Kind of a uh, something with neutral, you know, neutral um, natures. They always happen on my shiny Pokemon. So I go for bashful, and uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so it's gentle, and it likes to trash about, meaning that it has 31 um, IPs in attack, which is pretty amazing. So gentle lowers uh, the defense and uh, boosts the special defense. So. Yeah, you know, it's not the best nature. I was incorrect about my guess, of course. Uh, it doesn't really matter because, you know, it, it has 31 IVs on attack and it's pretty cool. So I'm just going to show the Electabuzz right now to you guys. There is Mr. Electabuzz. It's going to punch the screen just like that. Every Pokemon has two animations. Starters have three. Bah, look at that. Pretty, pretty cool. Shiny Electabuzz. It's a monster. I love it. 
Uh, I'm just going to quickly show him in battle. All right, let's just go ahead and compare it with a wild Electabuzz. All right, there is the normal Electabuzz, it's kind of greenish. And here's the shiny Electabuzz that I just caught. Quickly run off to the guy that tells me how good my Pokemons are or their IVs and stuff. So let's go there. I'm gonna bike this little distance. Get into the Pokemon Center and uh, talk to this guy. Alright, so yeah, tell me, how good is my Electabuzz? I see, I see. The Pokemon has relatively superior potential overall. That's how I judge it anyway. Incidentally, I would say that its greatest potential lies in its attack stat. As well as its speed stat. Wow, that's... What? That's, that's absolutely amazing. If this shiny had Jolly Nature or something, man, holy shit. I would have been sad. Like, my last shiny was a shiny Heliolisk, or a Helioptile, sorry. I always mix the name of the evolution lines. Um, here is a lot of shiny Pokemons that I've got. And I am just going to go ahead and drop him right there. Looks like the box is kind of getting full right now. At some point, I'm just going to make a video in which I showcase all my shiny Pokemon. But that's going to be it for this episode, guys, of hunting shinies and stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Alright, take care.